today we're going to talk about possessive noun and uh, we're going to see first the first slide what are the objectives the objectives in learning the possessive uh, pro uh, noun you're going to learn what possessive noun is and obviously the uses of possessive pronoun and the uses of the apostrophe apostrophe and then there are a lot of uh, in when i said uses of apostrophe there are a lot of way in how to use the apostrophe okay but please focus on the rules that i'm going to tell you and i'm going to show you in the slide number three now let's take a look at the possessive uh, possessive pronouns in the using of using of this uh, slide number three john's tall okay which means john is tall john plus apostrophe s plus adjective and obviously the apostrophe s here means is okay and then the second uh, example here of apostrophe possessive nouns john's studied okay the first one the tall is adjective now we are talking about the studied john's studied so the apostrophe s here stand for has has studied okay and then As I was saying regarding the second sentence, John's studied. Uh, the first so word, the first example of John's tall, tall is an adjective there. Now in John's studied, we know that it's a verb and it's in the past participle form. And John's stands for has, so it's in the present perfect tense. Okay? The apostrophe S stands, so John's studied means John has studied. Okay? Now the quest, uh, the number three, example number three, John's car. Okay, apostrophe s here is a car is a noun, and apostrophe s here show possession. Okay, or that something belongs to someone or something. Okay, the meaning of John's car is the car of John. Okay. Now, take a look. There are three examples with different uses of uh, apostrophe. The first one is uh, uh, apostrophe S plus adjective, which is stand for is. And John's study, the apostrophe plus past participle. A, it means, as, uh, apostrophe here means has. And obviously, the second, the third one is John's car. This belongs is means possession belonging to someone okay now the third the fourth slide actually we're going to give you more explanation regarding the apostrophe s or you may say showing possession okay now as you can see paul's house is very big which means the house of paul okay where is Julie's book? So we are looking for the book that belongs to Julie. And then the third one is, do you want to go to Mike's party? Now, it's here, it's the party that Mike is having. Mike is having a party, so that's the reason Mike's party. Now, the fourth one is, I'm going to meet Susan's parents tonight. Whose parents? Susan's, okay? And these one are showing possession or possessive noun. Possessive noun show possession, a relationship, or that something belongs to someone or something. Clear? Okay, let's go with another rule and going to see the apostrophe as, but in the as per the rules for singular nouns, okay? Now, the first one is possession. Obviously, this is also possession, but there are different rules in this one. So, please, please focus properly on the item. Okay, singular nouns adding apostrophe S. Now, number one, we went to Angie's house last night. Angie's, Angie's, 
It means the house belongs to Angie. Okay? Now, or Ange. Okay? And then the second one is, is that your, boo, is that your bu friend's bike? Whose bike is that? Belong to your friend. The bike that belongs to your friend. Now, the question is, the third one, where is the dog's bone? Okay? The bone of the dog. Now, apostrophe, let's, in the first one that we have, uh, number six, we are talking about the singular, okay? These are all singular nouns, possessive nouns. What, let's take a look at the difference if one is singular and one is plural, okay? Now, in the first question, uh, first sentence here, we have only one dog. And in the second sentence, there are two dogs. Just look at the, what is written in there. Where are the dog's bones? Okay? Bones is in plural because as you can see in the picture, there are a lot of bones. But there's only one dog. Where are the dog's bones? Apostrophe dog plus apostrophe S. It means the dogs of the bone. Okay? This is in the singular form. Now, in the second one, there are two dogs. Now, just look at the difference. Where are the dog's bones? They have the same pronunciation, dogs and dogs. The, the, what is uh, the difference between the, uh, the two? One is singular, dogs, which is in singular. It's, it's uh, written in dog plus apostrophe S. While in the second sentence, there are two dogs, dogs and then apostrophe the plural form of dogs and then the apostrophe but the same thing the bones of the dogs okay the two dogs okay we're talking about the two dogs in the second one which is plural okay now let's take a look at the another example of uh, possession singular this is my friend's house the house of my friend Okay, in the second one, if you have, if your two friends are living in one house, let's take an example, they are brothers or sisters. Okay, they are siblings. So you can, this is my friend's house. The same again, pronunciation, bagar, kya farak hai? Friends ka apostrophe S. Bagar, friends may in the plural is S and then apostrophe. Friends is plural. And then you will just add an apostrophe after the plural noun. Clear? Okay. Now let's take a look at this. What if the possessive nouns like the child's toys are on the floor? Child is a singular. Which makes the plural children. Look at the difference in the sentence. Okay. The child's toys are on the floor we are talking about the toys of the child here also and now there's only one baby or well or there's only one child here but in the second sentence it shows there there are two children so child is singular and the plural of child is children so the children's toys are on the floor the same meaning the toys of the children so what does what is the difference between the two? The first sentence has a singular noun, child. But because we are showing possession, we said child's toys. Child plus apostrophe. And then in the second sentence, there are two children. And then is, that is the reason why children with a plural form of child plus apostrophe. Okay? Now take a look. It is not apost S and apostrophe. It is apostrophe S. Children's is not the plural of child. The plural of child is children. Okay? Okay, let's take a look at the slide number nine. Slide number nine shows a possessive nouns or plural nouns not ending in S. Like the first example. Okay, we just add apostrophe S here. Just take a look. We are only adding 
apostrophe s the children's camping trip whose camping trip is that the children the camping trip of the children shows children which is in excuse me plural nouns uh, and then adding an apostrophe s only second the example he always corrects people's grammar now people's grammar what is this man that is the when, when we are we are talking about people here is a, the plural of person okay people is plural person is singular so he always corrects people's grammar what the meaning what is the meaning of people's grammar grammar of the people okay again we just need to add apostrophe s the third uh, examples the men's toilet is disgusting okay which is this what is disgusting the men the toilet for the men okay so men man is m a n is singular men m e n is plural man men men's toilet because we are talking about possessive noun in the plural form okay the men's toilet is disgusting ah okay then slide number 10 let's take a look those are the uh, previous slides are uh, singular and plural nouns that, that doesn't end in s what if if they are ending in s singular nouns ending in s so let's take a look class okay the class project what's the meaning of that class project the project of the class maybe the project of grade 8 okay but we are only talking about one class here okay now let's take a look at the look at the singular as uh, the plural in number two plural nouns ending in s the classes project the projects of the class okay remember the classes projects in pronounce in pronouncing the first example we you pronounce is the classes project classes project with the i z syllable the sound of z is is coming okay and in the second one the plural of class is classes if you're going to look at the difference between the two class plus apostrophe s in the singular noun and in the plural noun classes and then apostrophe the classes projects it can be two classes it can be three classes it can be four it can be because we are talking about plural noun clear breathe and try to think and then try to digest whatever i am teaching you and then you can check later on you can you can even uh, read it twice thrice ten times okay so you don't need to worry you can uh, you just uh, save it and then check it okay these are very useful this is not only useful in any in grade six and only useful in grade seven you can use this one throughout your life okay if you really want to speak fluent english so you need to know the rules in a possessive nouns or apostrophe okay let's go back again in our in the class singular noun that ends in s again the, look apostrophe we know that we are just adding s the classes teacher is nice but it's one who is nice the teacher of the class the class is teacher okay we are talking about the teacher of the class okay now the princesses dress is pink the princess dress is pink which is pink and which is the dress of the princess okay my boss's office is big my boss office is big classes princesses bosses okay let's take a look at that one again can you repeat after me please Okay, the class teacher, the princess's dress, and my boss's office. Clear? Now, D. 
These are the names ending in S. Okay, the slide number, slide number 12. Okay, it's all about names ending in S. So what are we going? Are we going to add S or only apostrophe? Apostrophe S, both forms are correct. But I do prefer if you're just going with ending in S, it will be better if you will just put an apostrophe in the end. James' dog is hungry. James' dog is hungry. Don't know kasi eh, okay? Now, so don't be confused, but it will be, I, if you will ask me, I prefer number two example, okay? Now, number three, we are going to talk about the classical or religious names that ends in S, Sophocles and Hercules, okay? Now, in here, we don't add S. We are going to add only, we're going to add only apostrophe. Sophocles' play are still performed today. Hercules' strength seemed unlimited. Okay? Now, it's, it's getting confusing. As you go on, now you need to make sure that you know and you have to write everything down. Now, let's take a look if there are two or more people. Are we going to add S or only apostrophe? Now, it depends on the other rules. Let's take a look. Now, if those... Uh, Example number one, Stacy and Steve's car is old. We are talking about one car only here. Okay? But the owner of the, that car is Stacy and Steve. That is the reason why we only write down the apostrophe S in the final name. Okay? Only in the final name. Now, in the second sentence, Stacy's and Steve's cars are old. First, the first one, there's only one car. That is the reason why it's old. The second one, there are two cars. That is the reason why it's old. And if you're going to see, we have added apostrophe S in the Stacy's name and in the Steve's name. Clear? Okay. Next slide is number 15. Read. Usually, we don't put the noun or object after the S to avoid repetition, especially when the meaning is clear. Understood this one? Okay, again, we usually don't put noun or object after the apostrophe S to avoid repetition, especially when the meaning is clear. Let's take a look at this one. My car is older than John's. What is the meaning of that one? The meaning is clear. We are talking about cars. Okay, my car is older than John's, meaning my car is older than John's car. But to avoid repetition, we don't put the object, okay, or the noun. Next one is, again, whose umbrella is this? <clears throat> it is Mary's. We don't say... It is Mary's umbrella. In spoken English, it is better that you say it is Mary's. Same as the meaning like it is Mary's umbrella. Okay? Next, whose are these shoes? Whose are these shoes? They are my brothers. Okay? You just answer, they are my brothers. Clear? That's a beautiful dress. Is it yours? It's my sister's. It's my sister's. Okay? Whose dress is that one? It's my sister's. Okay? Now, next one is 18. Apostrophe U, uh, S can also be used with time periods. Time periods like, have you seen today's newspaper? This, mo uh, this morning's meeting was boring. Last year, profits increased significantly. Okay? So these are also, apostrophe S can also be used with time periods. Okay? 19, 
look at, take a look at this one. The apostrophe S can also be used with time periods, but we do not use an apostrophe with decades or years. What we don't use this is a common mistake nowadays. We do not use apostrophe S with decades or years. The second example, a lot of great music was created in the 80s. 80s. Okay, there is no apostrophe S. We need to add only S. The hippie movement began in the 1960s. Okay, these are the common mistakes that we commit. Okay. Now, the 20 slide, number 20 slide, we do not use an apostrophe S as the plural of an acronym. Okay? Means the abbreviated word. There have been many sightings of UFOs in the area. No apostrophe S. He has just sold all his DVDs. Clear? Now, slide 21 is the summary of all the things that we have discussed in our slides. Just take a look at this one. This is the summary of everything. And obviously, without homework, whatever we have done is useless. You need to check if you have understood the lesson and your home assignment or homework is. You're going to read the rule that I have written in page number 5 and 6. And you need to answer exercise G and H. Page number six and seven in your the grammar tree. Okay, children. Happy learning, and I hope you have understood it. One thing that is very very I think, uh, a good advantage of having this kind of online classes is you can go back, you can see them again clearly. Whatever we have done in the class daily, please save all the slides that you have. Okay, in your computer, or you can have a USB, but it's better to buy USB, especially when you have only your mobile. Take the USB or buy a USB and then save all that one and then name them. If it's maths homework, make it maths and then a class subject wise. Okay, children? Okay, I love this. Thank you. And please, pandemic is not the reason to stop learning, okay? Let's not stop learning.